Hello, what is up, and welcome to another Eric DS Assassin's Creed multiplayer commentary. Today, bringing you a little bit of chest capture footage with a couple more of the turrets. Um, have featuring Landon, Sora, and Patch today. Um, Landon and Sora are both on my squad, but uh, the matchmaking is so awesome for Assassin's Creed Revelation that poor Patch got the GTFO off the turret team and ended up on the other squad. Um, I always feel bad because he always seems to get thrown on the other team, but we still have a ton of fun playing the matches together. Um, I'm obviously a huge Assassin's Creed fan. Um, love the games, love the multiplayer, love the direction it's headed. The narrative always keeps me interested. I'm always trying to figure out where they're coming through next. Um, but today I got asked a pretty weird question that I haven't been asked often by a bunch of people. Um, I've always been asked what's my favorite video game and I'm always quick to say Final Fantasy VIII. Um, but I was asked today what were my favorite video game moments growing up as a kid. And um, it was hard for me to just pinpoint one. I had to like stop and think about it. like what are my favorite video game moments ever. Um, I've been fortunate enough as a kid to play a whole bunch of systems and um, play a lot of games. Um, I love the N64. Uh, Dreamcast I feel is underrated. I love my Sega Dreamcast. PlayStation 2 I put way too many hours into the PS2. PS3 has just been astounding me with the great quality of games, especially last year, the amount of good games that came out. So um, it was hard for me to just pick one moment in all that years of gaming. So. Um, I kind of cheated a little bit with my friends and convinced them that I can make a top five list of the video games that moments, the video game moments that kind of affected me the most. Um, but trying to narrow them down and put them in order was a little bit difficult. So after getting home, writing it down, I was like, hey, maybe I should put this in my commentary today. So, um, so here's my top five moments of video gaming for me ever. Um, so number five is going to actually be my first Pokemon game. Um, and it might sound a little weird, but Pokemon was something that interested me as a kid a lot. I still have a ton of the cards still. I'm not embarrassed to say that Zapdos, my boy forever. Um, but playing my first Pokemon game was probably the most fun I ever had on any handheld system ever to this date. Um, was surprised I got a Game Boy Color for Christmas, got my live green Game Boy Color. And I also got Pokemon Blue version with my Game Boy. And like, I was just way too excited to receive this game. Um, had been waiting for it, had played Red version on my friends, um, had learned about all the Pokemon via the TV show as a kid before going to school. And just having a physical copy in my hand, turning it on, naming the trainer after me, being able to pick my starter Pokemon. Of course, you gotta go Bulbasaur, I don't care what anybody says, grass Pokemon for the win. So, being able to pick my Pokemon, get through, have their own nicknames, play through all the gym battles that I saw, pretty much pwn the Elite Four, that's probably the most fun I ever had playing a handheld, and probably my top five, that's my number five moment, easily, for me, going through my moments as a kid of playing video games. And um, number four is actually um, another RPG that I love a lot, the first Kingdom Hearts. Um, that game was definitely a great game overall, had sweet battle system, had great characters, introduced a lot of new things to you, also brought a lot of the games that I had played as a child, a lot of the Final Fantasies, a lot of the Disney movies and brought back my childhood and meld that all into one great adventure. But my favorite moment from that game was um, figuring out that I could fight Sethroth, because <laughs> uh, Sethroth is pretty much the most awesome bad guy for me. Um, him may be tied with Xemnas from Kingdom Hearts 2. Those guys might be my two favorite bad guys in video games. Um, but being able to finally fight him in the Olympus Coliseum was like a super accomplishment for me because one, he's like nearly impossible to beat unless you like grind and get your sword to like level 90, level 95 in order to even challenge him. And then once you finally start to fight him, you don't have any assistance from any of your starter characters. So no Donald, no Goofy, it's just you, your magic, your limit breaks, trying to beat up on Sethroth, and it's almost impossible to beat this guy. So after you finally do, I took me like 15 tries, probably no lie, to finally beat him. Like I hadn't been that happy or accomplished in any video game. I finally got to beat Sethroth. So that's my number four moment, is just fighting him in Kingdom Hearts 1. 
And then um, number three is Assassin's Creed 2. Um, the moment that Ezio finds his father's robes. So the entire beginning of this game, you see yourself getting born. You go through, have a little fight, um, get your scar, um, and then you're sent on a mission for your dad to go receive this letter. And um, I don't want to spoil it, I guess, for anyone who's not played the game, but you end up finding out that your father is an assassin and you end up donning his robes and it's like a really really cool moment for me and kind of the start of this epic these last three games that I've loved to play the start of me going to the community all uploading these videos it kind of stems from that because Assassin's Creed 1 was really really fun but number two just stepped up the bar and gave me a more of an emotional connection with the character because I've been with Ezio from the beginning of his life now in Revelations to the end of his life so Assassin's Creed 2 definitely just donning the assassin's robes for the first time is a great great moment for me in video gaming um, and then this is the hard part uh, number two and number one um, just about should be 1A 1B um, in my mind but if I had to rank them I kinda have to separate them so my number two is uh, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and it's just going to the Temple of Time and discovering the Master Sword for the first time. So this entire game you've been Child Link, um, you've been given this mission, uh, you've left the Kokiri Forest which is forbidden, you've gone and collected the crystals, um, and now you're going back to see Zelda because that's what you were told to do. But as soon as you get to the castle you see her running away on her horse, she tosses the ocarina at you, and you just see Ganondorf chasing her in the distance, and then you finally pick this up, you walk into the Temple of Time, this great orchestral song just comes flooding in from the temple. You walk in, you play the Song of Time, you open this chamber, and all you see is the pedestal, a beam of light, and a giant sword sitting in the middle of it. And then you walk over, and little Link is drawing the sword, and you just see the beam of light, and everything's transformed, and you turn into adult Link. You can finally use that freaking Hylian shield. It's not on your back doing nothing. <laughs> and just that entire sequence of going through time and transforming and figuring out what's happening and then getting the next part of your mission to continue the story, it's one of my favorite moments ever in video gaming history general but personally like the first Zelda I ever sat and played fully was Ocarina of Time um, all the Nintendo stuff my dad had gone through but I had never sat down and completed an entire Zelda game and that kind of started my obsession with Legend of Zelda so even now my little brother has 3DS I'll sit and go and just play that scene over and over and over again because it's just so awesome going in playing your song getting the sword and figuring out what your purpose is in this world and how you're supposed to save Zelda and that's pretty pretty cool and then number one is just my favorite video game of all time again Final Fantasy 8 the opening cinematic for that game the opening cinematic is probably one of my favorite things to watch in general not even video games like TV movies anything I can sit and watch that for the rest of my life and still be pumped and not get tired of watching it. Um, everything I enjoy about Final Fantasy is there. It shows some of my favorite characters. It has Squall, it has Cypher in this epic battle with the gun blades, it has Renoa, it has Sorceress Edia, it has everything you could ever want. A great soundtrack for that game. I love it. I can actually listen to that while I do homework still because I'm pretty much a nerd still. But it's just a great opening scene it gets me pumped to play the game and I'm always excited when I see that because it just brings back so much nostalgia and memories of a game that I still love to play to this day um, so that's my top five um, I'm really interested to see what you guys think about that um, maybe you can give me your one moment or maybe you can leave your top five in the comments below so I can try to see where everybody else is at in their favorite gaming moments so for me, number five, Pokemon, playing my first Pokemon. Number four, Kingdom Hearts, finally beating Sephiroth's ass. Number three, Assassin's Creed 2, donning the robes of your father and becoming an assassin yourself. Number two, 
Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, Temple of Time, Drawing the Master Sword, and my number one, Final Fantasy VIII's opening cinematic. So, if you guys can either complain about mine, uh, drop a little comment on yours, maybe we have one the same. So, um, get home, go ask your friends, see what their moments are, and see if you guys have anything in common. Um, definitely, definitely interested to see what everybody has to do. So, just thank you again. Um, hope you have a great day. Hope you enjoy the commentary. Like, rate, subscribe, and have a great day, everyone. Take care.